video I'm going to be retrofitting <coughs> rear folding seats into a E90 so this is a 3 series I've got a 330D mine's a 2006 model and I believe it's the same for all the E90s so first things first we're going to remove this bottom bench um, and what you'll I won't be able to show you on camera but I will explain it first and show you how I've done it what I'll have to do is to pull up on these seats here and there should be some clips, no screws for this bottom bench then it should slide out um, and then obviously feed the belts through so I'll get back once I've done that so yeah, as you can see it's almost off it's just a matter of pulling quite hard up sort of here, here and here and then um, pull this backwards so towards the front of the car to slide it out because it fits in here quite well um, and then slide it over the belts and it'll so as you can see the bottom bench is now removed got lots of crap there but it's now removed okay so the next thing to do is right under here there's two screws which are t50s i believe it's a bit awkward to get to but there is enough space to to do it to undo them so i've got a a t50 a longer reach one um Probably doesn't need to be longer reach, but I'll make it a little bit easier. So undo them next. Just removed these T50s, and what I'm going to do is just remove the seat belt as well, um, just so when I slide it out, it'll come out a bit easier. So I can put that back here, and then I can just slide it out, and this one should feel right there. Um, so yeah, T50 again, I think one there and one there. You can sort of look as a locating slot so if you sort of remember roughly where it is you can put it back in that position so this is the part where you break your back so i'm now lying in the boot with my head towards the front of the car um and i don't know if that helps but that's the view that i've got now and as you look up to the right hand side we've got two screws there and then a latch here so this needs to be disengaged and these two screws need to be removed and then the same on the left hand side as well so disengage the latch and remove them two screws not sure on the size at the minute it's a bit awkward to try and film show you how to do it but i'm in the rear of the car head against the back seats and there's a little slot on I show you on this side here and you have to get your screwdriver into that slot here I'll try to get it in again and then twist and pull at the same time so in the end I did leave the seat belts on and I'm hoping we can move out I'm going to need both my hands now so I can't record this. So it did seem like there was a little clip thing holding in the bolster. So you sort of got to tug up on this end and I'll do the same over that side. Right, so if I lift this forward. I'll push this forward. For that, there we go, that's in disengage now. And then pull up here somewhere. You should hear it. There we go. Now that should all come out, slide out. You might need to. So that is them removed. Um, just got to be a bit careful because there's all this wire in here. So yeah, just be careful of that. Right, so now we can remove these. This is what I said to remove earlier, but we didn't. So we can go ahead and remove these because we're going to be replacing these with ones which will work with um, a cable and a pulley sort of type system which will then allow this mechanism to move and disengage okay so uh, there are the 13 mils here and here to remove them I think they're 13 
the screws are out and then these latches should just come out. Same the other side. So um, you'll want to keep these like the the screws that we took out which are held in the middle or part of the seat keep them because we'll reuse these and then keep these again so we'll reuse these for the new latches. The option is you can start putting all the new bits in or you can remove this parcel shelf now and why, the only reason why you do that is because at the minute um, the middle seat belt when you fold the seats down will get in the way so when uh, the seat goes forward that will be pulled tight like that so if you want to put anything in it could get in the way so if you're not bothered about that then just start putting skip to a bit further in my video and follow the steps there or if you want what we can do is remove the parcel shelf and then there's a point that we can um, make a cut out on this parcel shelf which should be scored already and um, we can then actually fit a seat belt which can disconnect when we um, are going to fold the seats down. So if you want to do that, the first thing we need to do is disconnect these plastic clips. So what we need to do is get something under this first bit here, pull it up, and then once you've got that out, get something under the second bit and that should come out a bit easier. What I've got to do, well, I've removed all the clips, so you can see that now. Um, and then the next thing, we need to remove these little plastic inserts so the seat belts can slide through. So what you want to do is get something behind them, like a plastic pry tool. I'll see if I can show you as I'm doing it. So you want to get something behind and then pry around. And then we'll do that on the other side as well. And keep doing that until it clips off. I can't do it one-handed. I need to get something at the other side as well. Okay, so do that on all of them. So the little surrounding clips are out and they just there's a slot in the middle so you can just feed the seat belt through and they'll come out so then what I'm gonna do now is remove the seat belts so that should be T50 again so just this part this part and the part over there so I've removed the screws for the seat belts now and then the belts free to go through when we remove it now the middle one was pretty tight really tight actually um, it has some sort of loctite on it so just be aware of that um, it probably will be quite hard to get off so we've then got to remove these speaker surrounds because I believe we've got to remove the speakers to I think this helps fasten this down then we can pull it off now I've heard this is quite hard to not break any tabs so I'm gonna have a play see if I can do it without breaking any tabs and then explain how I've removed them but I will be using my um, trim removal oh. tools. Just got to remove the speakers from either side there and there and I think they're probably eight millimeter sockets um, so remove them. So now the speaker screws are out so it probably will come out and there'll be a few cables to disconnect. Um, again I can't really do it while I'm showing you see if I can show you what there is. So it's just the one cable here, so disconnect that and that'll come out. So to get that connector off in the end, I didn't use any screwdrivers or nothing like that. I just pulled down really hard and it came out and it goes back in fine. Um, it's just pretty tight connection. What I've also done is removed the air bag little plate and then undone the screw just so I can wiggle this panel a bit more. And I'll do the same on that side. And then... Um, we should be able to pull it all out and get it past this bit. And I did actually remove these sections, so just be careful because there is an airbag there. So what I did was, this was right down there, that screws into that, that point. So I leave it up this, basically leave it up this section and pulled it all forward because it's in a groove up here. So. Once you get it from here into here, it'll come off. So you just got to pull it all forward, then it'll come off. As I was saying, you just have to pull it up so the slot goes into the slot and it comes out, and then you can just remove it. Be careful of the airbag, airbag undo the screw and the airbag clip, and now it should all just come so out. So 
There is clips at the back there. I don't know if you can see them. So you just have to give it a good tug forward and that will come out. So basically is there's a pre-cut or a pre-marked slot. So we need to cut this out um, to probably use like a craft knife or something like that, nice and sharp, which will go through that. Um, and then we can feed the cap block tongue and this will be the new it's a little plastic part i'll show you it all after it'll be the new part where we feed our seat belt through okay so this is the cap block tongue it has like a screw shaft or, or whatever on the other side um so you need to order one of them and then there's a, a nut which will screw onto that and hold it in place so i just scored it with a, a knife doesn't have to be too clean because this covers it up and then just when you fit it make sure it's straight um, and tighten the nut up so next I've just removed the seat belt which was on here with a 16 millimeter nut so undo that and then this will come off and then we can replace it with our new one All right, so I've just bolted the new one in with a 16 mil nut which came off so you've got to make sure that this seat belt is the one um, for rear split folding seats. It should look something like that. It should have these sections. So I believe this will go. Uh, that, that will end up going like that. Um, and then this will come down from here and connect into here. Um, and then you can strap in. And then if you put the cargo, uh, put the seats down for more space, then you just disconnect from here. And that'll go on like that. So just screw that seat belt down, we'll move on to All right, so I've just um, fed the seat belts through. I've pushed the parcel shelf back in place so it clips into the clips back there. I've put the surrounds on the seat belt all round. And now I'm just trying, I'm not exactly sure, I'm just trying to figure out how this actually works and goes into that cap lock tongue. And once I figure out how that works, I'll then put the side pieces on and the speakers, plug them in and screw them down. So I'll get back once I've figured out how this works. Right, so I, I didn't actually realise, I thought it had to feed in here, but I think this is just there for when you do fold the seats down and you want this out of the way, which I didn't realise at first. So that just stays like that. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is put the sides on. So remember, um, to put the clips into the grooves and then slide it. So what you'll do is put them in here and then push forward and then that'll lock in place. Do that on the other side and then I'm gonna connect the speakers back up, screw them down um, and then, then put all the clips in here. I'll probably show you how to put the clips back in but it's pretty self-explanatory. So um, I'll get back to you when I get to this point and make sure you connect the connector in the right spot on the speaker that it came out so of. So I put the sides in and I've screwed back the speaker and put the cable in and then what I'm going to do is put the speaker cover back on, press it in place and then we'll get to putting these clips in here in these holes. I've landed here but all you got to do to put these clips back in is to take this part, pull the smaller bit out of here, press that in and through and then put like the the locking pin in which will make it expand and press it down and then that's in so you just got to go along and do that to all of them then we'll what I'm going to do next is give this a hoover and then we can actually move on to installing the seats all right I'm back to it now it is a little bit dark so I apologize if you can't see but what you'll need next is make sure that you've bought um, I managed to get these as like a pair left and right but you need the locking mechanism which um, has the ability to work like that with a latch on the spring um, so you need one of them and if for any of the parts that you're unsure of go on a real OEM and type in your car bits and pieces and it'll come up with all the parts so what we're going to do is 
I might unplug this one first, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna line this up. So this is, this one does actually say the right hand side. So I'm gonna line that up. Uh, so as you can see, there's three holes up there, but this middle one here locates in the middle hole. So we need to get our, this is another part that you'll need. Plastic inserts, nuts. We'll push them into this one and this one, leaving the middle one. And do that the same on this side. Then we'll move on to the next step. We're in place now, here and here. Now the heads up, they're really tight to fit. So just make sure you get them in the right one. Don't put it in the middle one, because that'll be really hard to get out. If right, so I've just pressed this handle into place. It's quite a tight fit. So then there's two holes, which will line up with the plastic nuts which we've put in. And then you've got to get these screws, which are these little hex head screws. And then we'll screw that in, do that on the other side. Right, so they are now both in place, screwed in nice and tight. So the next thing will be is to route this wire through to where our latches will be. So I'll, I'll do that and then get back to you so I can explain. So the cable pullers are through. So all you've got to do is the whole, oh, I can't show you behind here, but let's see if we can get it. There's a hole here, feed the wire through and the foam is pre-cut for this cable. So it should just come through the other side. Now, for some reason, I had trouble on this side. So what I've done is just got a bit of wire, duct tape it to the cable and pulled it through. Um, and that's worked out well. Okay, so if you just go ahead and do that. So then what you can do is put the latch assembly in on the correct side, and then you've got to feed the cable through into there, press it in place, and then you've got a little, um, I don't know what to call it, but the plastic part fits in that slot there. Annoyingly, um, mine has broke when I pushed it in, which is a bit crap. But um, I'm probably gonna come up with a way to fix it, maybe try glue it, something like that. I mean, it's still, if I get the handle, it still does work fine, no problems, but uh, it's not great, looks a bit crap. So do that on the other side, hopefully you don't break yours, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Oh, oh yeah, and the screws that we took out earlier, um, we can put them back in, which will be, if you can see behind there, the holes there, that fits into the slot, and then you've got the screws which will go in there, like that. So uh, screw them in. Do it on the other side, then we'll get back to the next bit. So now your latches are in place and you've done the screws up. You can see here, there is a hole for a cable holder and OEM, these are fitted with cable holders. So I have actually bought a cable holder. The part is that 8177700. And then all you have to do Try. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on it. You press this in here, and then usually these are pretty tight, but you press, press that cable up into there, and that'll tidy it up. Do that on both sides. So next we need this bracket, which is that part number, and these screws, which is this part number, and then I'll show you. Oh. We need to put the bracket in the middle of this with the curved edge facing down. So, what do I mean? I mean like that, curved edge facing down. And that will fit in between like that. And then we'll put the screws in, which will go in from the side with no thread. So I'll just get them in loose. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. So that's tightened up now, that's a T40. So if you just tighten them up, it's a bit awkward, but I think it's best to tighten them fully now. So then next, if you get the smaller part of the bench, um, so if you were in the driver's seat, it'd be the driver's side passenger. Um, 
so what you want to do is fit that into here the bracket that we uh, installed make sure they're central and then flip make sure the bracket is this orientation and then use the middle seat screws which we took out from here earlier because um, we don't need them anymore because we won't have anywhere to put these screws so we can use them here um, and then just as a test if you slam it in and then, so you know that that seat's working so I'm just going to fiddle around with the larger bench and fit it and then tell you how I've done that once I've done it. Right, so I can't lie here, I was struggling quite a lot getting that in. So what I've ended up doing is taking the latches off here just because I was trying all sorts of different combinations to see if I could get it to fit and I couldn't, but I'm gonna leave them off for the time being and what I've done is I've grabbed our new um, seat belt for the middle, which is part of the middle assembly which allows you to disconnect and stow that away. And I've put all the other seat belts in and then I'm going to put the bottom bench in and my thinking is that it's going to provide some sort of support when I'm trying to put the back bench in um, and it might make it a tiny bit easier but we will see All right, so just so you can see how the seat belts are fed through this one goes on that side the longer one for the centre, it should say centre on there and this one will be for your right side seat belt and then this one for your left side and then this one you've got to squeeze through a gap here um, which is this connects into here and then you can disconnect that if you're going to fold the seats and then put it in the, the tongue up there so just so you know how to do that now i'm just going to have a play with trying to get the rear seats in again and see where i get to right so in the end what i've actually done is i had this bracket actually off the screws out and the brackets off I slid the bracket onto the smaller seat with a long shaft um, and then slid both the seats together then put the side screws in like that and then you probably won't be able to see the other one but I then put the um, screws in in that position it's it's really awkward but this is the only way I, I just couldn't do it any other way so I sort of used probably a longer one of these would be really handy with a longer reach this this way so when um, you go down like that, you've got a long reach to, uh, you've got some leverage. Um, and then I just use a mix of, um, what are these, quarter inch extensions. Um, and then I had a, a swivel adapter somewhere and just tried a load of different combinations until I started getting the thread in. Um, and then I'll probably use this to tighten it all the way up. Um, so yeah, if you, I, I don't know, you might be able to, sort of push them together with the bracket already on but I just couldn't so I've done it this way so I'm just going to finish up screwing all this down and then I'll move on to the next right, so everything's tightened up now so now would just be a good point to make sure I haven't got the latches in because I took them out remember but just to make sure it does fold back fits in like that and then the same again here on the other side so they all fold and it all looks good no big gaps or anything down here and then fold it down and this side so now it's all good and it works um, so now I just got to work on putting the latches back on hooking these into the white little bit here and then where that brown slot is it will fit in this slot here and then it's just tightened with the um, these screws here which will go in them holes there okay so if you work on putting all them in now right so now the locks are in place and the cable the pull cables inserted in just want to check that these do close so you have to give them if you do it lightly like that oh I was gonna say it doesn't usually go in but it, it has it's in and then this one again I'll show you what I need if you just 
do that, it won't go in. You've got to really give it some bit of force like that and then go into the boot. And see the handles there. Will you be able to see if I pull this one, it should spring forward. See that? And then this one. And then that will come down just like that. And so will this. On the original seats, as you can see there, the bolster is part of the seat but you need individual bolsters. So with these, um, there's clips, which we need to insert into the car first. So we're just putting the clip on the bolster first. So there is only one way it can go in, you can't get that wrong. But if you can see, it is that way with this part at the top. And then there's a straight edge at the bottom. There's a a little um, protruding bit off the bolster which sits into a slot there and there is another part here but it doesn't look like it'll actually fit in anything so you need to make sure you get it into that one first and then slide it down and this time we should get a clip when we oh, you have to give it quite a see if it Not there yet. There we go. So what I had to do was when I was pushing down, I had to push to the left a little bit to locate it and then in. That's in nicely. And then we'll put the seat up and do that on the other side. I should have mentioned that. So One thing to get, if you have already put them in, to get them out, put your finger in, press this lever down, and then pull it. And then, it's awkward to film, so, can you see here, there's a profile, you need that to match the profile, so that will end up going in there. See now, so that's in like that, and then, you got to feed seat belt over like that and then if you can see right down there this black part has to go in there so just like that that's in place now slowly work its way down here so that's in place, so it might be similar again. I might have to push inwards like that. I'm not sure exactly. Or maybe it's the other way. So that is the install complete. Um, so you got the seat belt like that. And then you've got the seat belt stowed away. If you were to use this, take it out. And then put it into this seat belt here. And then that will come across the person, the center, like that. So it'll come across from there to there. I can do it one-handed. Should be able to. All right, there we go. So that would be the center person seat belt. And then because we've added the seat belt functionality in, we press this all the way in. And then take this one out, fold this back over, place it in here. So that's stowed away now, won't get in the way. And then, See, I'm about to hit the press pull the lever, and that comes down. Press the lever again, and that 
comes down. Put them back up. And this one. And that's in. And then with mine, it came with this, the drink holder. And then I think if you pull this down, you've just got action. Uh, yeah, you could put something long through there and then this comes out as well and then you just have to get it in the grooves to get it back in and then that's in place. So that was relatively easy. The only thing was trying to get the seats to lock into place. I didn't think that that would be the hardest part. Um, but yeah, so you just got to figure out what works for you, what worked for me might not work for you. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give it all a clean inside now and protect the leather. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Um, if it has, I'm trying to release more videos. So if you could like, share and subscribe, that would be appreciated. And anything that you want to see done on this car, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.